Hi everyone, welcome back to my math channel, MathWeb. Let us start question number 5 from Pearson and Excel A-level exam for pure math 2. This exam was taken in May June session, year 2024. Paper reference code is WMA 12 slash 01. For the first part, given that x and y are positive integers such that x minus y whole cube is greater than x cube minus y cube. Prove that y is greater than x. In this question, you must show detailed reasoning. Let me start my question from here. We will expand this one. x minus y whole cube is greater than x cube minus y cube. We can, ex we can expand the left hand side by using the formula of x minus y cube. That is equals to x cube minus 3x square y plus 3xy square minus y cube. You, you should memorize this one or if you don't know you can use binomial theorem to expand this. x cube minus y cube. For sure this x cube will cancel with the other side because if you move this one to the left side it will be minus this minus y cube and this becomes positive so this is also cancelled out. So the only expression that left on the left side is minus 3x square y plus 3xy square is greater than 0. 3xy is common between these two so you can you can take it out. So 3 is outside y is outside and x 1x 1 power is outside so this will be minus x here left with minus x and the other one is left with y only is greater than 0. Since x and y are positive integers are it is written here positive numbers are positive numbers therefore you can divide it by this one. If you don't mention this one uh, the examiner might deduct your marks because you have to give the valid reasons there why are you cancelling this 3xy from the left side. We are dividing by 3xy. When you divide by positive number inequality does not change. Let me give you the example here. You know that 6 is smaller than 12 but when you divide by negative value like minus 2 you get here negative 3 and uh, negative 6. Now it is not smaller. Inequality will be changed. It will be greater. Okay. In case you are dividing by negative number in case of inequality. Therefore you have to uh, mention over here give the reason that why are you dividing 3xy and uh, inequality is not being changed. Since x and y are positive numbers therefore you can divide by the positive number inequality does not change. Once you divide it, you left with only minus x plus y is greater than 0. Now this negative x goes to the right side and it will be y is greater than x. It is as required. So first part is done. For the second, using a counter example show that real solution in part A is not true for all real numbers. Here condition was given y is greater than x. Counter example could be the different like y is smaller than x. This will be your counter example. You can you could choose any other numbers like if you choose here. Let y is smaller than x. Like choose any number of y that is negative. Let me start with negative 1 and with x equals to positive 1. Okay. Now plug in these values over there in the, uh, in, in the inequality. What is that? That is x minus y whole cube. x minus y whole cube. This is for second part. It is greater than x cube minus y cube. Now plug in the values. x is uh, 1 and here this minus and that minus makes it plus whole cube greater than Let's choose here 1, 1 cube and minus, minus 1 cube. Here the answer on the left side will be 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 cube is 8, 8 is greater than 
it is 1 and uh, this one is minus minus makes it plus we get the result as x greater than 2 which is true for sure everybody knows that it is true but we what we are doing we are using the counter example that we are not using y greater than x we are using y less than x and we get the result true which is true for y less than x got it so we prove the result actually second part is done if you have any question any doubt please write in the comment box thank you